Good morning, peeps, or afternoon, I should say. I got up a little late today. I got, dude, I got hooked on uh, Game of Thrones, man. It's ridiculous. I'll sit down and be like, yeah, I'm going to watch, you know, one or two episodes. And then before you know it, it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm eight episodes deep, man. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this afternoon, I am going to hit the surf, man. I got one surf rod and I have one rod that I'm going to use to throw some uh, artificial baits around the rocks and stuff but we are going to be casting a static line out there with some frozen shrimp and see what we can get on it is colder than a witch's tit out here in northeast Florida right now which is really jacking me up I was going to take the yak out today and I got up late, and I walked outside and said, yeah, nah, I'm not going to do it. My car is reading 53 degrees outside right now, and the sun has just come out. So this is that time of the year that's really kind of interesting for me. It's hit or miss. You know, you got to find the right spot at the right time, use the right bait. It's getting a little, uh, getting a little scarce over here. So... Let's try something different. We'll see uh, see how this works out. So stick around. I think we missed that one. Yeah, whatever was on there is not on there anymore. That's yeah, the weight dragging on the bottom. Well, that's a good sign. Good sign. There might be something on Oh, there is something on there. Look at there. Oh, it's a daggum stingray. Goodness. Well, it's not a good way to start it off. But, it's something. I don't mess around with these guys because you know, obviously they got a big old barb on their tail, so what I do is step on their tail. Their mouths are not very hard. You guys can see that wicked barb right there. I don't know if I can get it on. See it? It will jack you up. Even these little ones will jack you up. Oh, goodbye, my friend. Boom. There he goes. Let's rebate and try to get something else other than a ray. Although, if I get a big one, I may do a catch and cook on his behind. So. I got somebody messing with it. All right, here we go. Yep. Oh, I think he got off. Yep. All right, that seemed like a whiting bite to me, which is phenomenal. Because that's kind of what I came down here for. <laughs> Check our bait and get back out there.
Alright, didn't get the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's rebate. Get back out there. So today I'm using a... The current's really whipping here, so I'm using a 4-ounce uh, Sputnik weight here. Uh, and these, I do my own drop shot rigs. Uh, I just buy floats and then a uh, little circle hook here to a liter to my mainline braid. But that's all I'm using today. Very simple rig and it's very easy to make. So if you want to save some money, I think if you buy that same exact rig in the store, it's like five bucks or something like that. Something ridiculous. But get yourself some liter and some hooks. You can probably make 20 of those things for the exact same price as you could buy one or two. And then I'm just using some frozen shrimp. This was some, this was shrimp that was alive uh, a little while ago. <clears throat> I didn't use it all. So put it in Ziploc bags and just I have uh, like a bait uh, freezer in my garage and I'll just throw it in there four days like today when I need some frozen shrimp. It was kind of way out there in that little threshold there. That's exactly where I'm going to put it again and see what happens. All right, now we sit and wait. Beautiful day today. It's cold. It's all get out, but man, it's gorgeous. The water is calm as can be. I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can't, but even though it's super calm, that current is moving. I just brought one surf rod today. These surf rods, for those of you guys that, that are coming down to visit or whatever, are super inexpensive. So this Barrier 2 Reels is a 6,000 size. I think you can get these at Wally World here in <clears throat> Northeast Florida for like 38, 40 bucks. And then this um, Tsunami Sea Tech rod breaks down. But I, I want to say I paid probably about the same for that. So this, the whole rig, maybe a little less, the whole rig costed about uh, 65 bucks or something like that. So not crazy expensive. Uh, you can find some cheaper stuff, but this is just a step up from the cheapest thing you can find. And it works just fine. Good bite, good bite, good bite. All right. Ooh, I'm not sure if he got him that. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Nice. That's a pretty decent bite there. It's going to be a whiting. And I will take it, whatever it is. I know it's not a daggum stingray, so that's a win. What do we got? What do we got? And it is a whiting. Smaller guy, but... Ooh, it's a dink. Dinker. Bait size whiting. Yeah, we're not going to be keeping this guy for a fish fry, but... There we go. Got one on the board. Yeah, let's get him back. Rebate and get out there again. It's probably like a yeesh, eight inch, ten inch guy. Go ahead, little fella. Go tell your granddad we're out here trying to get some fish, man. All right, got another good bite. Yeah, he's on there. I think it's another smaller guy, though.
Yeah, it's definitely another smaller guy. Believe it or not, these whiting, super overrated fish, but they, the larger ones, uh, the larger ones put up a fight, man. They're no joke. This is another dink, almost carbon copy of the last one. Such a cool fish though. Very cool. And they are absolutely delicious. I mean, phenomenal eating. Totally overrated fish, but we gotta get some that are like 12, 14 range. Right there, little feller. It's rebate. I think we got somebody messing around with it. Little nibbles. Isn't taking it yet though. There we go. Let's see, going with it now. Come on. I know you're hungry. Take it. Take it and go. Take it and go. Huh. But I got my scrum. What a cheat me, man. What a cheat me, man. Yeah. I think so. You might have to check that bait. Give it a check. Let's give it a check, man. Let's give it a check. I find it hard to believe that somebody got it, but stranger things have happened. So the last couple of casts were not that far out, and I have not been getting the action that I was getting way out there so we're going to try to put this joker on the other side of the planet whatever that was was just pecking away and yeah i go ahead and rebate too bait 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 all day long bait bait, bait while i sing my song This one out near China. So, <laughs> what I was worried about happening a little while ago happened. I haven't used, I haven't gone surf fishing in a long time. This line has been on here for a while, and it finally, a couple casts ago, off camera. Uh, my other rig it finally gave loose and sent my previous rig all the way to Tahiti so I had to switch out and this is my last sinker so if something happens to this line or 
I get snagged. It's gonna be over, man. It's gonna be over. Let's see what happens. Uh, we just got bit, but. I wasn't paying attention. I think we lost it. Pretty decent bite. Yeah, if you didn't hit it again, it's gone. Yep. Ah, I think we lost them. That was a good bite, man. Dang. Oh no, he's on there. He ain't that big. He's on there. Oh, a little bit bigger than the first two, I think. But he's not that big. Getting better. Getting better. This one's actually a pretty decent keeper, but still small by my standards. Nice, nice whiting. These things have like 50 names, man. Whiting, <clears throat> they call them down here. Northern kingfish, sea mullet, I think they call them in the Carolinas. Uh, but everybody calls them tasty. <laughs> Let's get them back. Cool fish. Let's rebate and try to get another one. The sun's starting to set, so we don't have a lot of time. All right, y'all, so there you go. Quick trip, I mean, sun sets really early <clears throat> this time of the year, but uh, I wanted to do a quick outro because on Tuesday of next week, so today's what, Sunday, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm probably gonna take the yak out for a little bit and see what I can get on, <clears throat> weather permitting, of course, but the following day I am going to be flying to Hawaii for uh, the remainder of the week. I'm going to get there Tuesday probably late Wednesday. I have the entire day to do stuff and then I'm going to be working Thursday and I'm coming back Thursday evening and won't, won't get home until Friday. But <clears throat> while I'm there, I'm going to try to either do some surf fishing on uh, Wednesday or I may rent a kayak and see if I can get out there. I've never been to Hawaii. I've obviously never fished Hawaii, but I'm kind of excited to see if I can, uh, if I can get out there and, and do some surf fishing and or kayak fishing on Wednesday. <clears throat> so if I can make that possible, I will. But thank you all for watching the show. Today was kind of a off day, man, but that's, it, it, it happens, you know. I was gonna, I was actually hoping that the toothy quitters would be out right now. It's cold enough, and I've heard some folks say that they've got on a lot of sharks, and if they haven't yet, then that's definitely coming up, and I haven't done that in a very long time, so I was just checking to see what was going on, and it doesn't seem like they're, they're out in numbers or force yet, so maybe in the next couple shows I'll, I'll do that, but Tomorrow I'm going to take the kayak out. I'm going to head up into some creeks that I haven't been before and hopefully get on some redfish and some uh, trout. So stick around for that and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.